let us continue to our next favorite law, um, the third favorite one, which is Newton's third law. Right, so when object A exerts a force on object B, object B simultaneously at the same time exerts a force of equal magnitude on object A, but in the opposite direction. So in plain and simple English, if you push something, it is going to push back. So the most important principle here is that the two forces act on two different objects and thus can never balance each other out. Right, so let's say for example we've got this gopher here that is pushing a mine cart um, on a rail. Um, let's see if we can divide, uh, divine, find. Divine is actually nice, whether we can divine um, all the um, forces that are acting on this cart um, and see if we can find the Newton's third law pairs for them. Okay, so the easiest force is usually gravitation, right? So we know there's a gravitational force of Earth on cart, right? So the third law pair is the gravitational force of cart on Earth, right? So as silly as it sounds, right, whatever gravity is being exerted on the cart by the Earth, the cart exerts that same force of gravity on the Earth. Right? Um, and the reason the cart falls down and the earth doesn't fall up is the cart has a tiny mass compared to the earth. Um, so since f net equals ma, the smaller the mass for the same force, you'll get more acceleration. So basically that tiny force um, isn't enough to accelerate the earth. Right? Then we've got the normal force of the surface on cart, which is going to be the action-reaction pair of the force of the cart on the surface. So that's the force the rails they are experiencing. Then the frictional force of surface on cart is going to be a frictional force of cart on surface. And then an applied force of minor on cart is going to be the force of cart on minor. So basically if you, for example, push something, you'll feel pressure on your hands. Um, and that's going to be the force of the thing that you're pushing back on you. Right.